Hi, this is Kelsey from Crystal Fonts. All right, so what I have here is our new board, which is the CFA 10110. It's custom built for these two displays. They are the U3, which has a, a bigger outline than the T3. Um, it's about twice as big on the diagonal. Uh, the TFH versions have a backlight, and that's this white frame around it, while the NFHs have no backlight. There are a few ways we could hook this up. First would be to use a 10102, which is this board, which is a really nice development tool for adding components, but not super needed. You could just use a regular breakout board in this case, but I'm going to use our 10110 because it's perfect for this. So if you order the part, it will come pre-built, but if for some reason you have the part separated, what you're going to do is enter, insert the tail into the zip connector, close the zip connector, and the board will bend backwards like so to connect to the display. The same board works for both of these displays. So I'm going to be using the CFA G12864 U3 TFH, which is the big version with the backlight for demonstrating this bring up, but bring up applies to every model of the U3 and T3 displays. All right, now I'm going to wire the CFA 10110 to the C3 now. You can see that the CFA 10110 has a silk screen on it that shows the pins. A little bit hard to read in the video, so I'm adding the, the pin names to the screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is connect the 3.3 volts on the 10110 to the Cduino, making sure that my Cduino is set to the VCC of 3.3 volts, as using a 5 volt IO voltage could damage the display. Continuing on, we'll do our ground wire to ground. In the code, there's a table like this one that shows the different pinouts. Um, the names are a little bit different between what's on the CFA 10110 and what is written in the code So I also have a simplified version of that pinout and this is what I'm using to wire the 10110 to the Arduino. So I'm just going to set up all my wires onto the Arduino and then connect them over to the 10110 Just find it a little bit a little bit easier And I'm wiring this in SPY, but the 10110 can also support a parallel mode for this display by changing the jumpers. Awesome, so that's the wiring, and now I'm going to get my sketch ready to go and plug in my Cduino and load the Cduino with the sketch. You can get the sketch from our website on the product pages. Um, if you're using the U3 T3, you need to check that the defines are correct in LCD load.h. Just make sure that if you're using a U3, U3 is defined, if you're using a T3, T3 is defined, it just changes the contrast and what the display says. Alright, now let's look at the backlight on these TFH modules. They have this frame with an anode and cathode pin, and I got the correct voltage and amperage for the backlight out of the data sheet, which is also on the product pages in the sidebar. And I'm going to just connect alligator clips
All right, and we turn the power supply on. Great, backlight is working. You can see it's nice and bright. And I'll run some code so that you can see, see it all come together. All right, thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Let us know what, what other kinds of videos you'd like to see.